it's pretty hard to take your 80-something year old father to federal court on a walker when he's thought to be accused by a big corporation. Your opposition is a bunch of bunny rabbit lawyers wearing a $1,000 suit, suing a man. that went to war for the freedom for some scumbags to misuse. Monsanto sued him in 2003 for saving their soybeans, which he did not do. He never grew a soybean in his life. I've been growing these seed about 20 years. Some of them may be 30 years. We'll clean these and replant them next year. That way I don't have to go buy new seed every year. I save my own, which saves me about $20,000. And I don't have to give it to some big agricultural corporation. Not many seed cleaning places are left. Uh, it's just got too dangerous. I mean, Monsanto sued about seven farmers around here, and they threatened to sue 75 farmers. They spread a lot of discord in this community. I could still clean for the public, but it is too dangerous. Monsanto will send a private investigator in here with a load of seed and lie to you about what he's got, and, uh, and then you clean them in your home. I was told by officials in Montgomery that they uh, picked me for a poster boy. One of their salesmen threatened my life, claimed they had already killed a person. If I showed any weakness, they just showed more strength, so I wouldn't back down. The day they had to fess up to the death threat, just immediately they asked to go to mediation. I refused to go, and they'd been beating on me four or five years, and I wanted to beat on them for a while. Uh, I would fight them again. Bit of snow and hail before I give it to them. I don't think Monsanto wants to starve people. I think they're in it for the love of money the root of all evil. Monsanto's corporation is not a human being, it's an entity, it has no soul. It won't be uh, judged on Judgment Day. 